my first vlog if I even post it. So I am on my way to one of my best friend's house and then we are gonna go to this donut shop on the beach. They put weird flavors in them and stuff on top like little Fruit Loops on top or maple bacon donuts. So I'm gonna go try it out with her today. The weather, it's not having it today, but we're gonna persevere. Should be fun. So what do we think? Donuts or the yeah, the everything. Great. Ten out of ten. Would recommend. I like mine. Oh, coconut and chocolate. I guess I'm vlogging again. I don't know if I'm actually gonna end up posting these videos. They're nice for me to like be able to come back to look at to see what was going on at the time. So here we are again. Guess what's happening in my life right now. A couple weeks ago, the keyboard and the mouse on my new laptop stopped working and I had a warranty on it. So I went to Best Buy and gave them the laptop. They sent it out to ha try to have other people fix it. They couldn't figure out what they were gonna do. They said, you can get a new laptop and we'll charge you $150 to wipe the apps and all the stuff from it and then put it on your new laptop. And I said, uh-uh. So we had them send it back to us and I have to go pick it up now, take it home, put all my stuff on the terabyte drive that I just got and then take it back, have them ship it back out just so they can tell me Again, you can get a new laptop, so that's where I'm going now. I'm gonna crash. Selena Gomez just released her Bad Liar video, but it blew my mind when I first saw it. I had to watch it a couple times to get the whole gist of it, but if you haven't seen it, definitely go watch it. I, I, that was insane okay so i just got back from best buy and i went into the place and i said i'm here to pick up a laptop they gave it to me he said do you want to just check anything just in case and i went to try to log in just to see if the keyboard or the mouse was working but they said they sent it back unrepaired like he's looking at the notes and all of a sudden my mouse and my keyboard were working so i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing and i don't want this to happen again right after my warranty expires i mean i'm very happy that i get my laptop back but I'm worried it's gonna happen again and I'm not gonna be able to get a new laptop. So yeah, I went out and that's the only time I was outside today and now I'm gonna go back inside and finish editing the YouTube videos editing, so. Bye! Hey, now I'm editing. This is my old laptop, Old Faithful, that I can't unplug or else it dies immediately. This whole situation here, a little jacked up. That's fine. I actually have a really old editing program I use. It's um, Adobe Premiere Elements 11, and I think there's 15 now. And I don't even think anyone uses Adobe Elements. I think they use Premiere Pro or something. This video is taking me so long to edit because I'm trying to do all these graphics, but they, for some reason, that's the part I struggle the most with. I don't know why, but they always look crappy to me. I, takes me forever, I don't know. I literally cannot sit and edit a video or sit and do anything really for more than like 20 minutes before I feel the need to get up and walk around. So I'ma have some coffee. It's my third cup of coffee today and I do not regret it at all. Hey, so if anyone cares how I make my coffee, I brewed this earlier and I put some sugar and some vanilla extract in it and then you put it in the fridge and then I'll just pour it in here. And then because I don't have any creamer creamer right now, I just use this heavy whipping cream, just a little bit, and then some milk. Bam. And then mix it all together because you know that's the best of both worlds. Ah, oh, oh, beautiful.
it's supposed to go away. I got you, fam. Don't worry. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to take you on a special trip. Keep looking here, not there. Um I didn't do it. Just kidding, it's an ambulance. Today I'm going to the bookstore, which doesn't mean anything very special because my bookstore is Books A Million because there aren't any other bookstores close to me. The Barnes and Nobles are also an hour north and an hour south and this is the closest one so this is where I go when I go to the bookstore. Am I gonna buy anything? I don't know. I really shouldn't even be here because I already have way too many books that I haven't read yet but I don't have anything to do today. I'm just gonna go to the bookstore and then go to the gym and I wanted to take you with me as long as I'm going. So yeah, let's go. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm done now. Look at this cover. What? What? I need it. I need it. Back in the car again. I spent a good hour and a half in there, which I did not mean to do. I'd call it a success. I only got three books, so I'll show them to you later. I'm proud of myself for not going overboard, but I'm gonna go to the gym now. Bye. Just wanted to show you what it looks like at my house right before it's gonna rain. Yeah, you can normally see past that white looking line. Wow. I wasn't recording this whole time. Ugh, I hate myself. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the books I got from Books A Million, which I just showed you, but I wasn't recording, so that's fine. It's later on in the day, way later on, like I should be having dinner soon. I remembered that I didn't show you guys what books I got, so I'm gonna show you now. The first book I got was Armada by Ernest Cline because it was in the bargain section. I really, whenever I go to Books A Million or Barnes & Noble, I only buy their clearance books because I'm not about to spend $20 on a hardback book or even really 12 on a paperback, but it was only $7. I haven't read Ready Player One yet. I don't even have Ready Player One. I really want to read an Ernest Klein book, so I'm gonna read this one. I would have preferred to get Ready Player One, but it wasn't on sale, so whatever. We gotta do what we gotta do, but I'm excited for this one. I've always really liked this cover, and I've always put it in my basket on bookoutlet.com or my cart, whatever you call it. But it's always one of the first books to go when I have to make like my total cheaper. But it was at Books A Million, so I got it. I actually wanna see what it looks like underneath. Oh my, look at this. It looks so cool. Oh my gosh. It's such a cool cover art stuff. Anyway, my phone ran out of storage and I don't even know why I was really recording there on the first place because it's got a lot worse quality. Luckily my camera was ready to go, but I almost dropped it. Are you kidding me? Anyway, sorry about that. It, it just comes out sometimes. But the second book that I got was The Last Star 
by Rick Yancey, which is the third book in the Fifth Wave trilogy. And I have the first two, but I've never gotten the third one. It's the same deal with that book because I always put it in my book outlet cart and then I never actually buy it. When I was at the store today, I looked on book outlet again to see if it was on there and it wasn't. So I was like, well, I better get this one. So it was only $6, not doing too bad. The last book I got, which I'm super excited about, I'm so glad I found this one. It was $6 and that is Caraval. I think that's how you say it. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. And I have been seeing this everywhere on BookTube and Bookstagram and all the books, the, the, the social medias. You know, maybe this will make a good Halloween read. I'm really intrigued by the synopsis of this story with the whole game show type feel and the mysteriousness. I'm probably gonna have to save this one for October, but still. Still, I cannot wait to read this. So those are all the books I got and that's probably gonna be the end of this vlog. I did a great job, didn't I? I barely even vlogged at the bookstore. Not too bad of a haul, but I need to stop buying books. So, uh, yeah, what she said. So yeah, um, yeah, um, uh, yeah, okay, bye. What is this button? Oh, I can take pictures while I'm recording? Yeah, I think I did. Ha <laughs> ha